Hello, Lake Deaton family. We hope you're doing great this week. I am so excited because today I have a special guest, Jay Schmidt, who is here to talk uh, with us about one of our great ministries, our ERT uh, ministry. So Jay, share with us. Well, the first question is probably, what is ERT? And it stands for Early Response Team. And the Early Response Team is a group of volunteers on the disaster relief side of things that go out in fairly shortly after a major natural disaster and provide very specific tasks and support, uh, particularly emotional and Christian support for the, the survivors of, of that uh, event. Um, and so we partner in Lake Deaton, we partner with the ERT team at, at New Covenant and Gary Mush uh, from New Covenant and myself are co-leaders of that group, as well as both of us are certified ERT trainers. Now I'm going to step out on a limb here and say that probably uh, of all the ERT groups in Florida, our group is the most well-trained and most well-equipped of any of them. Uh, it's been around for over 15 years. It's had a lot of time to mature. It has outstanding support from New Covenant. And uh, we just can't say enough about uh, all of the, the benefits that they have, have given us as we as try to do this ministry. Um, but, you know, in, as we go through what it is that we do, we are typically involved, as I said, in natural disasters and will tend to have tasks like um, tarping roofs or removing down trees or, or broken trees or doing debris removal or doing uh, helping people whose house has been flooded, those kinds of activities. Uh, and in order to do that, it takes uh, special training and it, ta and it takes uh, at least seven major functions uh, that we have to fulfill, uh, including the team leader, an assistant leader, logistics person, a, a base camp person who does all the, the food prep and that type of work. We have equipment maintenance, we have uh, safety, we have emotional support uh, people and, and recorders. Um, those kinds of positions need to be filled. And, um, and when we deploy, we typically deploy for, for about five days, uh, allowing one day of travel each way and three days of working. And the three day limit is usually the result of not wearing you out because this can be a, a fairly strenuous uh, activity. And it's, it's important that we, we not uh, put our own people or the people that we're trying to help at risk by us doing things because we're, we're tired and, and things like that. So as you, can, as you can tell from the list of positions that we have to fill, um, it takes a special type of training. And so I wanted to talk just a minute about that, that training. We are, if you want to deploy out into the field for ERT, you must complete basic certification training. And this is the manual for that kind of training. And, um, and so we're gonna be teaching this class uh, on uh, Saturday, October the 26th uh, out at Camp uh, Willis. And it's an all day class and, uh, and it only costs $15. And for that $15, you get a nice ERT shirt, you get a nice badge, you get the booklet, you get other support material for the thing. And, and an additional uh, benefit is our base camp people are going to be there to serve lunch, which also serves as a training exercise for them to make sure that all the equipment is functional and stuff as we are in the middle of hurricane season. So, um, so that's coming up, that will be coming up. And, uh, and if you don't want to deploy, you can still be a member of the team in a support role um, and, and, and help during, and before and after the, the deployments in, in all different kinds of, of roles. So you don't have to you know, be climbing up on a ladder to tarp a roof or manhandling a chainsaw to be a valuable member of the team. You can tell from the other functions that are needed that not, a, not all of them require a lot of physical activity. But uh, if you are interested in, in joining this group or you have more questions, 
I'd appreciate it if you'd just drop me an email or talk to me uh, during church or after church, and, um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So Great. So uh, tell us the date one more time. October the 26th, that's Saturday. October 26th, and it'll be an all-day event. So uh, if you don't know Jay's uh, email, you can just call the church and get it and let them know uh, that you're interested. So two more things, and then we're going to close up for today. Just remind everybody that this week we have our Bargains and Blessings truck. It is going to be here this Sunday, the 19th. You can bring all of your stuff that you want to share with other people and donate it. So be sure and bring it this Sunday. And our fall grow classes have started. Our grow nights have launched. But there's still a lot of classes that haven't started yet. So uh, pick up a sheet this weekend when you're in church or go online and see the classes you can connect with and find a way to connect with that. And if you're not doing a class, still come to dinner. It's a great time for fellowship and good food. So thank you for being with us, Jay. My pleasure. And I hope you, uh, some of you plug into the ERT ministry. And we hope you have a great day. See you this weekend. God bless. So long.